All right, a quick unedited look at how to do GHS really quickly. So I have this image here of IC1318. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to crop it a little bit so that it doesn't pick up the uh, edge artifacts. Uh, and then we're going to go to image processing. Actually, first it's on auto stretch. I'm going to switch it to linear so that now we see this. Image processing stretches. And I'm going to do generalized hyperbolic stretch transformations. And I'm just going to... Usually you'd select a symmetry point, but I usually do it as the second step or the third steps. First, I'm just going to stretch it so that the histogram is like around like here, right? And then I'll do a local intensity so that the histogram widens up a little bit, right? All right, and I'll click apply. And then I'll actually create a little box here and I'll click on the symmetry point. What this will do is it sets what the background is and then I'll do another real quick histograms or a stretch factor and a local intensity I'll click apply and then on the type of stretch I'm going to go from GHT to linear which is just changing the black point so we're going to set this back so that we don't blow it up later and you want to make sure you keep an eye here. You know, you don't want to clip anything, so you don't want to go too far. We'll we'll use this a couple times. So go back to GHT, increase this. So you can see it starts to look a little little bit better, right? And we can do the intensity so that it's not completely blown out. And we'll do apply, and I'll go back to BP. Actually, I probably should have done the the symmetry point. Anyway, but uh, again, this is just a demo, just to show you. And then I'll go back to GHT. This time, you know, the box is still there, so I'll select a symmetry point there. I'll stretch it out a little bit more. Local intensity, there we go. But anyway, it's like, I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use generalized hyperbolic stretch to slowly bring details out here. So it's probably just a little bit too much. Every data set is going to be different. This is just me working with the SPCC data. Uh, it also works with the OG data as well. You can play with the symmetry point after. Press OK. And then linear stretch if you need to. This helps with the black point. So again, if you start doing this, you'll see the clip go up and then you lose data. So you want to make sure it's at zero or at least close to zero. Like, I'll do this. Like, this is OK. Press apply. Press close. There you go. This is now stretched with GHS.